There's money in those purses. Price $2,500? A sign. Oh my God. We're back inside of this millionaire storage unit we paid $540 for. We pulled out money, we pulled out collectibles, we pulled out a whole entire crazy story. If you didn't see part one, link in the description. Let's get back in there and see what else we could pull out. Let's get into some of these long boxes right here first. Knife still sitting in here from last time. Slice this right open. Let's see, you think it's art, a frame? It says mirror pack, so maybe it's a nice mirror. We're about to find out right now. I do see a frame, but, oh, it's an original painting. Ooh, hold on a second. It's even got a certificate and everything in the back of it. Everything's falling apart. <laughs> Check that out. Oh, it's upside no, other down. Way. That's a real painting. This one's not a print. And what is that in the back right here? This just, oh, it's oh, just a, a canvas. canvas. I thought it was a certificate. That looked like a certificate of like authenticity or something like that. Yeah. But that is actually really nice. Look at the way this one's taped up. It is like taped to death. So let's slice it open and see what in the heck it is. What's your guess? More art probably? Probably. Maybe. Maybe it's something cooler. So if you didn't see the first part, we found out the owner of this unit has passed away. They were an art dealer. And they, at one point, they had multiple millions of dollars. Probably when they die, we don't know. Ugh, man. I need like a chainsaw. We had a chainsaw all the truck? <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, we don't. Three rounds. I went to a decision against the box. Unfortunately, it was defeated. I got it. So we can get out this thing. It's like a... Whoa, like a jewelry box maybe? What, you, what is that exactly? Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know. Let's see what this wrapped up inside. It's probably just parts to it, but I want to make sure there's nothing super cool wrapped up in there. No more tape, no, 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 no. That is what the heck. Uh, it's like three pieces of glass, probably to put shelves inside oh, of there. So it's like a display mirror. It looks like pretty much a display mirror. This big box here, I kind of sliced it open ahead of time so I didn't have to fight with the tape. Whoa. Looks like we have a massive art piece in here. That is massive. We actually just ended up opening up, they had this table sitting in the corner. We're like, you know what? Why fight with the chair? <laughs> We're gonna fight with a curved back chair. Yeah, let's just use the chair. Table. Table. That is huge. That is super massive and super, super nice painting right there. It is science. It's probably original. Oh, yeah. That's for sure. Let's see if it says anything on the back. Uh, no. Oh, there's something down there. Something right here. Carol Woon. I guess that's the artist's name on this one. What does it say? Can you read that? Uh, oh. <laughs> a Carol, well, okay, so there's like a business. Price $2,500? What? Look at that. Price 2500 And a watercolor. Whoa, okay, now, <laughs> nice. now we're getting good. Now we're getting somewhere. I'm gonna get this big box down, because if you remember last time, we saw a ton of boxes in the back labeled Texas, and I'm really curious to see what they are, so I'm gonna get to the back. What is this? Paper bags, that's what it says up top. Okay. And that looks like exactly what it is. It might be an entire box of paper bags. <laughs> well, well. Uh, I don't know what we'll use these for, but we got a lot of paper bags now. I'm curious to get in this little, oh, it's heavier than I thought. This little box right here. Oh, wow, is this so heavy? Let's find out. Uh, okay, some new paint stuff right there. Paint brushes. Ooh, what's in this little box here? This is heavy too. That is, hmm. We're about to find out. Let's set it down right here. What is that? Whoa, what are these little pieces? There are a bunch of little pieces like this. It has mm. a $1 price tag on it. Loving crafts? Maybe that's what they're all used for. You see in there though? There's a ton of these. Uh, made $4 each. Maybe <laughs> they're used to craft something. I don't know what you'd make with those, but mm. this whole box, look in there. There's tons of those little pieces. I don't know if that's what's in the big one or not, but let's find that out really quick. What about in here? Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know what these are used for. Crafters, can you please help me out in the comments? What does this paper say to? Is this somebody paying for all these? No, this is a seating arrangement, nothing to do with it. No idea what those are for, please help me out. I'm gonna try to pull down two boxes this time. Let's get these two white boxes right here. By the way, look how many wooden shelves are in this unit. Like that literally would cost us about 540 anyway. I think we're gonna keep these because we have a big plan coming up here. <laughs> Ooh, look at this, what is that? Are these pantyhose, da Donna Karen. Okay, is that like a fusion of a Karen and a Donna? <laughs> I don't know what a Donna is, that's just a name, but oh, what are these? Mm. Like bra pads, it looks like. Okay, what about this over here? There's a lot of these, are these new Calvin Klein, like, what are they called, pantyhose? Pantyhose. A few of those, like these are all in there. I don't know if these are new or not. How do you tell these are new? 
No clue. Yeah, I they're don't know. in the package. They're in the package. So <laughs> that, to my best of my knowledge, they're those new. are new pantyhose. <laughs> yeah. Let's put those right here. What about this one under it? Oh, uh, this one looks really random. Some sewing stuff. Some buttons. Old like needle and thread. Measuring tape. What else is down here? Ooh, that box looks interesting. Look at this. Ooh. I like the look of this one. What's this say on the bottom? Uh, Heacock Pick Quick. Pick Quick. Pick Quick. Okay. What is that? Ooh. Wow. Okay. I see a watch. I see a watch. That's a that's a Bolova actually. Nice. Those are nice. What else is in there? What are these little pins? Cufflinks. Yeah, these are cufflinks. They all have like a M or W. Do I turn it this way to set it on Weast? Right. <laughs> yes. If you get that, we could be friends. If you don't, it's okay. Uh, look at that. Little bunch of military pins and stuff in there. That's kind of cool. I hit you with the here. light. I'm sorry. Yeah, you did. Whack me right in the head. Oh, what's, look at that. Ray-Ban sunglasses. Why is it so flat? It's old. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Oh, those are just like, you clip, you clip them it. to your glasses. Yeah. I've never seen these. These look vintage. Ray-Bans are pretty expensive anyway, so maybe the vintage ones have a collector's market I'm hoping for. <laughs> Let's see. Randomness in here. Oh, no. What is that? Is that a little jewelry box? Looks More like it, doesn't it? Oh, they're all cufflinks, aren't they? Yeah. I don't see Some any markings on Some cufflinks be gold or silver? Yeah, they can be. There's definitely something written on it, but I just can't read it. It's written right under the bar. I don't know what it says, but we're definitely going to keep it aside to look it up. Because if those are gold, that's a lot right there. This is just thread. What do we have down here? Uh, randomness of sure. Some business cards. And a bunch of just... What is that? Maxi piping? <laughs> okay. Okay. And then we got some thread. The rest of it. Oh, look at that. Man, you know that's old. When's the last time the Redskins have won anything? <laughs> that's old, actually. That's pretty cool. Put that over here. But the rest of it, I was about to say, it looks like a lot of mix of, like, crafting stuff. Oh, I see needles. I don't want to do it. The rest of it does look like a lot of crafting. Now we can finally grab some Texas boxes. Woo, Texas. Been following me for a while. Make sure you leave this video a thumbs up if you haven't already, guys. And subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed because we have awesome storage units all the time. Let's see what's in this top Texas box. Well, some paper. It's outdoor decorations. Look, it's like this yes. piece with two little ducks on it. All right. Okay. Anything else in there? What is this? It's a license plate, ain't it? Yeah. We have a license plate. Okay. That box we'll set over here. Then we'll go into this guy right here. Where's the knife at? Right here. I think it's really easy, actually. It's paint tape. That yeah, paint tape's easy to break. <laughs> Let's see what's in this one. Uh, a fan and a giant metal light. That is really random. I don't know what that has to do with Texas. Maybe they had a house in Texas as well. And this is stuff coming from that house. Let's grab two more boxes up here. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Thank you very much for cooperating. I really appreciate that. This is number one, another license plate. Some more paper. What is this? A little painter's thing. Is this a giant tea kettle? Well, just a, a tea kettle. Okay. That is really random. Let's go down to the next level right here. Oh, open on this side. Papers and hangers, your favorite. <laughs> you thought you were an escape from this unit? Uh-uh. If I had another finger, I could X that out. <laughs> no, you get them right now. They're all yours. Yay. So the thing on top of here was completely empty, so we just put it out the way. It's just a little piece of wood furniture. Oh, but this one rolls and it's actually taped shut. The other one was just open. So I'm assuming if it's taped shut, then maybe it's got something inside. Because the other one had doors too, but there was nothing in there. That one. Nothing in there. Nothing. Let's check this one out. Oh, no. <laughs> Not VHSs. This is like the one my grandma had when I was little. Oh, man. Wow. Well. Man. That is not what I wanted to see right there. Not at all. So we got a little bit of trash out. I went to lift this thing and I'm convinced it's like titanium alloy. That box weighs 2 million pounds. We'll get to that in a second. Because I really don't want to move it yet. But I want to see what's in this right here. I went to pick that up and I swear I thought like there was somebody on top of me just pushing it down. I was like loading the cart and all I heard was ah! <laughs> I don't know what's in there. I feel like it's gonna be books or something, but we'll see. Hopefully it's not. Hopefully it's just skull bars. Yeah. What in the heck? Well, nothing in here. That looks silverish. That definitely looks silverish, don't it? Maybe written something on the bottom? Uh, it says something very faintly right here. Rogers, uh, IS. Rogers, I know, is a silver company, but I don't know if it's sterling silver or silver plated. I don't know. It doesn't specify right now. That's like a big crystal. 
serving dish. Pretty. Yeah, for sure. What about this one? There's another oven. Oh, got gold in the middle. Nice. Ooh, fancy, fancy, fancy. This just looks like rich people stuff. Let's see what's in here. That is a big... A lobster a tray. A big lobster play. <laughs> that heals 12 hit points. I picked these two, and it's definitely not because I just don't want to touch that really big one. It has nothing to do with that right now. Let's see what's in this one. It just says Gary. Meow. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's see, these are wine glasses? Or no, they're just regular glasses, but I feel like they might be crystal, let's see. Ooh, did you hear that? Is that like crystal That was to beautiful, me? that was beautiful. <laughs> flick okay. it, flick it. I did, I flicked it. All right, let's see what's in this one right here. We didn't here. show them the prize find. The what? The prize find of the unit. That, right there. This is sugar cookie, I wish you guys can smell it. Yeah, that was in the other box, I didn't notice it at first, the one we just went through with this um, trays in it, that was also in there. And that's the best thing so far. My favorite this time around. Besides the money last time. What's in here? It is, what in the heck? Pizza flipper. A pizza flipper, it's new. Nice. It's a whole bunch of pizza stuff. You know what? That's <laughs> actually probably decently expensive and new in box, so that's cool. All right, say your prayers for my back, rip. I'm getting this big monster. Oh At least God. you're picking it up from high up. Oh, I feel like I put it on the table, it's just gonna collapse it. We'll <laughs> see. Oh my gosh. What is this? Take to stereo apartment. I don't want to show their address, but let's just slice it open and see what it is. Hopefully gold bar. Oh, records. That's pretty good though, depending on what they are. These could be actually very valuable. Oh, a whole box. Nice. Let's pull out a couple and see who we see. Uh, this way? No, this way. I don't know. That? What is that? A carpenter? Single? Stereo? Doesn't really say who it is, does it? Uh, more 50 guitars. And Tommy what? Garrett? Tommy Garrett. Uh, do we see any Elvis or Michael Jackson? We're doing Are we looking at the box backwards? Yeah, yeah it's looking at them this way. All right. Let's see. Stin, no. Jonathan Livingston. No. No. If you guys recognize these artists, let us know in the comments. But from what I'm seeing, I don't see any, like, you know, Beatles, Elvis. Stuff like that. Uh, what is that? <laughs> no, never mind. So, you know, pretty cool stuff still. I bet you it's still valuable. So I'll take it. You know, one of the other reasons I like this unit because I saw the Oreo sign. Now I'm realizing it's just a moving company, but I thought there might be baseball stuff in here. Let's see what's up on this box right here. This one's open. And it is, well, a lot of little random pieces. Hmm, what's in here? Open up, can. A light bulb thing? Part of the lamp? is just a lot of little house pieces. These look like maybe doorknob piece. I don't even know. Shower curtains? No. Something like that. And then, ooh, something wrapped up in here. What is that? What is that? I want these old coffee cans with screws and bolts in it. Well, I think this is more of a put out at the yard sale and see what people want kind of box. All right, let's go to this box right here now. I want to get this top shelf cleared. What does that say? Bedroom totes? All right, what you got in totes in your bedroom, guys? You have nothing. Uh, these just bags. This is our classic bag of bags. Every storage unit has a bag of bags, you know? And it looks like this one's going to be it. I wonder if there's any high-end brands in here, though, because these people were pretty loaded. What is that? That says, made in Italy, cross. Look at that. Anyone recognize that logo? I could just, I just feel like it's expensive. <laughs> Let's see, what else is down there? A couple of random bags, and yeah, the rest of them don't look like anything special, but for some reason, I have a feeling about that Italy one. If you know, please let me know down in the comments. Guess what, we missed something. There's money in those purses. Bang. First, we'll go to that, but check these out. Four Costco cash cards. We're gonna have to look at those. And then this, I hear change, but could there be bills too? Please, no. But hey, that's a good amount, that's a lot of quarters. That's probably close to five bucks right here in cash too. Now that I was almost murdered, let's finish going through here. I touched this box, that dolly came whoo, right for my head. And I was like, ninja reflexes. That was weird, you know? I, I felt like I finally unlocked Ultra Instinct there. <laughs> I didn't even think about it, I just did it. What does it say? Int, Int whatever that is. Center, bottom, right. Okay. What's entrance? Oh no, more VHS. How many VHS does one person have? What is that? And one of some of these old like martial arts movies could actually be worth some money. This one's sealed. Oh, look at that Beauty oh, and the it Beast. It's a sealed too. Pearl Harbor. Okay, okay. Saving Private Ryan. So sealed? there might be some cool ones in there. You never know. 
couple of these VHSs are sealed. Most of the time, everyone knows most VHSs are worthless, but there are those few out there that are worth a crap ton of money. So we definitely gotta look through them. Let's see how much no top they have, you know? <laughs> I just wanna see, oh, this one's another heavy one. Like it wasn't oh. obvious it had no top. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I had no idea. Let me see. Oh, oh, there isn't one. Okay. I don't have to lift anything. Whoa. Let's see what's in this. Nothing. Nothing's in this. <laughs> this looks like a bunch of tools, painting supplies right here. Uh, these look like brackets for a shelf. What is that? Leather conditioner? That's beyond me. This. <laughs> uh, what is that? Lawn spray. Okay. okay. What about this white bag down here? Is this anything? Some rope? Twine. Just some twine. Yeah, this is just a bunch of random little tiny tool pieces. Again, this is another we'll set out at the yard sale box. So a lot of the boxes we took down on here, they were just a lot of tax paper, so we just went ahead and take them out. This one, I, when I moved it, I heard metal, so we knew that wasn't tax stuff. Let's see what it is. Is that a torch? A kitchen torch. What is it? What do you burn in the kitchen? I guess the top or something? To caramelize sugar. Okay. <laughs> this is... Ooh, look, Salem Silversmiths. Nice, let's open Hopefully it. Something sterling, something sterling. Whoa, look at this. Nice little wine glass it says on there. Salem silver plate, unfortunately, but still not sterling silver, but still silver plate. Super nice, set that aside. Is that another one? Is that the matching one probably? Yeah. Then we got this box. What is that? That looks nice too. Whoa, what is that little candle holder? Candle stick. Hold it. Little candle holder. This reproduction has been carefully polished and protected and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so what, what does it say there? Can you read that on camera? Uh, spike candle holders. Two okay. pairs. All right. We'll put that with the silver because that looks nice. Is this a soccer ball? No, it looks like a soccer ball. It's not. I was to say, why is this store with the kitchen stuff? This is what? Ice light? Tea light candle ice lantern. Okay. And the rest looks like both plastic wear. Now let's get into the bigger box here. Oh, this one's fairly heavy. Let's see what's inside of it. Is it already open? Okay. Oh, it is open. This is packing paper and packing. Really? What? What? Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Okay. You know what's funny is I moved this box because it didn't have a top and inside of it was just bubble wrap, like a huge roll of bubble wrap. So now they gave us packing paper and bubble wrap. You know what? Thank That's you. free merchandise. This white box, all files and paperwork. This one doesn't have a top. It looks very random. So I thought, let's look in there. Some old Sony headphones. That looks like a camera case right here, doesn't it? Hey. What's this? Okay, that's completely taped shut. We're gonna get in there in a second. This, uh, single speed saw. Is that what's in there though? See it in there? Yeah. There's a saw. That's what I thought. And this, what is that a camera? Polaroid. Is it an old Polaroid? It is an old Polaroid, isn't it? A Sun 600 Polaroid camera. That's old school. What else is in here? A house phone, a screwdriver. Is that freaking some memory or something? Uh, Yeah, it looks like yeah. it. One G only, so. <laughs> or one gigabyte. And the rest is paperwork. What's in the tape box now? Because this has a lot of weight to it. Let's find out really quick. You are not opening. Just, open, just be polite, please. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Appreciate that. I love when the box is listening. What is that? What the heck? Genuine leather. Genuine leather? What? Is this like a wine bottle? It looks like it. A wine bottle case? It is, isn't it? <laughs> that a is fancy. That is way too fancy. What brand is that? River Road? All the drinkers out there? Is that something expensive or is this just randomly placed in a leather case? I don't drink, I don't know anyone in my family to drink, so I have no one to go to, please help me. All of these say be careful, fragile, but it doesn't feel like glass. Like it, it clearly says glass on there, but it does not feel like any type of glass I've ever seen in my life. So let's cut it open and feel it to see what it is. Where did the magical knife go? Over here somewhere. I got it, I got it, I got it. I call it a magical knife because it does possess teleportation powers. Like I'll set it here and I'll go to the next box and it'll be back there. No <laughs> idea how it gets there. Let's go into here. What kind of glass is it? Oh. Wow. Okay, it's literally just, just two pieces of glass. One, it's one. A oh, one it's piece of glass. Sorry. One piece of glass taped to a piece of cardboard. So if that's what's in there, I'm gonna go out on assumption because look, these are just bendable boards too. So okay, this one's that's not. That's a frame. This. Ah. This one might be a frame. Let's find out. The other ones are definitely the same thing. So let's see what's in this guy right here. Where is... No, it didn't teleport this time. Good job, good job. Right there. And we'll cut it over here. No, it's literally 
more of the same. For some reason, just a bunch of single sheets of glass. This box says Nolan Ryan on it, and I'm pretty sure it's an MLB player, right? Yeah. So let's see that baseball stuff would feel kind of out of place in this unit because we haven't seen any of it except for the Orioles boxes. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's signed. Oh my god. What the Whoa. heck? That's hand signed. Fort Worth Star Telegram, August 23rd, 1989. Oh, look at that. Limited edition, 1155 out of 5,000. What's that on the back? Oh, certificate of authenticity. Hey. That is awesome and <laughs> so random. Like this is the last thing I would think to find in this storage unit right now. Man, any idea of value on that? I bet you that's worth a pretty penny. Now that was awesome. Let's go into the next one because now I'm really excited, you know? That was freaking cool. <laughs> Let's see, oh, there's a box in a box here. So we're gonna have to pull this guy out. Is oh. it? Can you pull it down? Try it. Uh, I can't. Well, <laughs> come on. Yeah, we're gonna have to pull it out the hard way. That box put up a little bit of a fight, but guess what? Who's on the ground now and who won? Winner. Let's see what's in this guy here. Is this another original artwork? Well, I just took the other frame with it. Uh, another watercolor one. Nice watercolor. Do you have the same artist name down there? Yeah. All right, cool. So that's a cool one to set it. Is there a price right on this one? Here. Uh, I didn't see a paper with this one. Oh. But yeah, there's that. And then we got one more that came. Oh, there's actually two more in there. What is that one? Oh, oh it's cool. It's like one of those stitch things. And then it has something written on the bottom right there. Loving care, loving crafts. crafts. Yeah. Okay. And there's one more little one I didn't even notice down there that just kind of slipped by. And that is another can painted one. Oh, it doesn't have a price on this one, but it's the same artist again. Got us another box like this, frame type box. We don't know sports memorabilia, mm -hmm. art, or literally just random pieces of glass. Hopefully that'll balance. Fingers crossed. Where did the nice teleport do? <laughs> Behind you. See, it did its thing. <laughs> Now let's see if we can get into this guy. Voice, open you. Just cooperate with me, will ya? <laughs> I'm gonna start shaking it, Michael Myers style, if it doesn't start listening. There we go. I was gonna say, we can take a timeout. No, no, get no, it no, open. no. No timeouts, no timeouts. This is go. Halfway inside of another box, a third of the way inside of another box, and then you finally get inside, glass. and it's just a single sheet of glass. <laughs> So we got another random box here. This one just says office picture. You know how descriptive that is? You can have a family picture. You can have a signed Michael Jordan picture. There's so many things you can have sitting in your office. So let's see what is in there actually. Or more MLB memorabilia. That'd be pretty cool. Come on, open. But nothing and... else in this unit pointed to baseball. No, exactly. That's why it was so unexpected from me. Or any sports memorabilia Exactly. At all. That one, we did have that box too, but that's just another box with the same prints we found last time. This one just have one frame in it. Really protected frame, that is, but what is it? We're about to find out. Whoa, hold on, look, 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 look. Huh. Fairy site too, it go, went in some museum. Fairy light something museum for, selection for Great Falls? Yeah, Great Falls in Virginia is like a really, really rich area. It's up by like the CIA headquarters and stuff in Langley. It's a really nice area. If it was in a museum, that's pretty cool. It's like an area where some people, there's a lot of people that go there just to drive around and look at the houses because there's like 11, $12 million mansions all over the place over there. It's really cool. There is the card. It's stuck to it, I think. Leave it. Uh, all right. Is this, I was looking for a price. It doesn't say anything, does it? No. It definitely went in a museum exhibit. That is super cool. I mean, I, I don't really know what it is, but <laughs> if it was in a museum, it's super cool, right? I don't know how they got it out of the museum. I guess, like we said before, the dude was an art dealer, so no telling the value of this guy right here. So we slid this table out some, and look at this. The doors are tape, or um, what do you call it, tied together. So I'm gonna need to get our knife. Where did you teleport to teleport to this shelf this time? <laughs> Stop teleporting. Just stay. Don't judge my knife. Okay, let's see if there's anything inside. Oh, there's something inside. What? I don't know. Let's pull out some more. What is all this stuff? What the heck? Is this not open? <laughs> Has to. Gosh, oh my god, maybe open. not. Come on, it's gotta open. Yeah, it definitely opens. I see it right there. It's like glued or something. I don't know. Let's see what's in some of these there. This looks like sewing fabric. That might be what's in all of these. What about this thing like this? What is that? Look at that. That has to open. I'm just gonna pull it, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Look, the bottom opens, the top just does not move. Okay, let me see if I can get it. Oh, there, there you Pull go. Up see, strategy. Pull up a little bit. What's in the green thing? That says Neiman Marcus. Okay, okay. It's is still in gift? wrapping. Paper. I don't know, I don't have to say that. Is this a gift? All right, what do we got for Christmas? <laughs> I got you this. Congratulations, it's a, uh, is it a Mrs. Claw suit? Open it. It looks like a Santa suit. Open oh, it, open it. I'm trying. I wanna see. It is, what the heck? The heck is that? It's like a little kid Santa suit, maybe? <laughs> That's my best guess. <laughs> Neiman Marcus, you can have that back. <laughs> what else do we have in here? This is all fabric. What about like this? Nothing. What about down here? Is this all fabric too? What do we got in here? No, this one's not, ah, take it back. It is fabric, a lot and a lot of sewing stuff. Let's go to the high up box right here. Oh, my arms hurt. <laughs> Ow. Let's see, what's in here? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, oh, lock on that? What is that? What the heck is that thing? Ugh, come here, you. It's really heavy duty, it just looks like some flowers. It's from 1965, that's all I can make out on it. VA down there, Colonial yeah. Virginia. From 1965. Ooh, that's kind of cool. It's heavy duty cool. too. I don't know what it is exactly. Can we have some laptops maybe? Or just papers? Let's see. Well, this one's actually neither. It's just an empty case. Okay. Ooh, look. I see cars. cars. <laughs> in a second. In a second. <laughs> this one. What in the heck is this? Is this a typewriter? Is this a typewriter? What world are we living in? <laughs> this storage unit got lost a long Whoa, time ago. Yeah, no kidding. Look at this. A Sterling Automatic 12 SCM Smith Corona. I just want to hear the sound effects. <laughs> it's just like nostalgia right there. <coughs> that dust is brutal. No. Let's go with some of these cards. We're going to open a few, see if we can get lucky again. Because we did last time. Can we get lucky again? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> can we get lucky, please? No, I'll do three, I'll do three. These don't count, if they're not an envelope, they don't count, they gotta be removed from the envelope. Let's see, come on, come on. Two. Two, uh, uh, this one. Come on, big card, come on. It's <laughs> nothing. So we moved another box of prints out right there. Let's go into some of these other boxes. The sports memorabilia stuff's got me excited. I feel like there's gonna be more in here. This one is kind of weird. Is this just pieces of cardboard? That's literally canvas. what that is. That's what I meant to say. Pieces of canvas. So that's kind of random. Not even used. Let's go into. Ow! How dare you? You know what? I'm gonna shake that box. <laughs> Please, it hurts. Just for that box. <laughs> One step. This right here. <laughs> hey, buddy. How are you doing? You like to shake it? There we go. Thank right. you. Mm. That's really good for that. <laughs> now, where do we open this one at the right way? Up here, maybe. All these boxes have so much tape on them, like you can't see the creases. So like, you just gotta completely guess on how the box opens. And then half the time it's like a box inside of a box, halfway in another box, a quarter way, another box <laughs> with a third box on top of that. And then it's just like a piece of 12 cent glass. <laughs> Come on, get out, get out. There's a help? lot of stuff in here actually. Okay, hold on. Numero uno. What do we have here? <laughs> this, is, this is what I'm talking about. Matt. <laughs> Matt. <laughs> okay, there's a big frame in here, but it's just like, you know, being like the other ones to where it just doesn't come out even though you cut it open. What is all this stuff? Sketches maybe works in progress? Sketch? Yeah. That's my best guess. What is that? No, just to a sketchboard. I want to get this big one out, but look at this. It's just like crazy the grip it's got on this stuff. Yeah, I, I don't there's know. There's nothing you can do. <laughs> I, need, I need to help you. There's something else though. What is that? Uh, a sorter? Plastic sorter. Okay. Now? No, there's still more down there. What is that? Come here, come here. This looks shiny. What is that? Uh, archive? What? Watercolor, watercolor block. block? Okay. Artists, please let me know if you know if this stuff's worth money or not, because this is basically speaking a foreign language to me. And now the only thing left is this guy, which is just, that's a rolled up print of a map, like really like in the front of a school. That, and then there's this box now that should be able to come out since everything else is out. It should be able to, that would make logical sense, but it doesn't. After a little bit of fighting, again, I think I'm three out against boxes today, just saying, not trying to brag. Mm -hmm. We got two more nice pieces of art out there. Again, signed original paintings, and it's got the little certificates with it. That's got a $200 price tag on it right here. This guy does, and this little one, 
actually doesn't have one so no idea how much that one's worth but again original artwork it'll definitely sell this box is really interesting so i don't want to show their name but you see the tag right there Burberry's, Burberry's from washington dc and over here it says wh and i'm not thinking of dc the only thing that i could think of wh is the white house so i don't know what's in here what if there's a painting in here that was in the white house uh, that would be pretty insane let's see i mean this dude's dealing in millions of dollars of art oh, it's not even art is it it's just kind of papers and magazines what is that it's just an email magazines and newspapers some people magazines <laughs> this is so random time sports illustrated membership directory membership of what what are these all for you know what i mean this is so sports illustrated yeah I, just so random why was it in a house labeled that it's just so random right now these are all just magazines just a little ticket this is a ticket to a game to get rangers and boston red sox 14 dollars august 26 1993. wow that's pretty cool but nothing of any real significant value i don't think unless one of these magazines has it if anyone knows let me know in the comments so i was looking back here most of the boxes i see are literally just tax paper so there's literally nothing else besides that and some empty frames and some books but i mean realistically money wise i think we found some cool stuff in just the shelves alone I would pay 500 bucks just to have these because we have some a project we're coming up soon and these shelves are going to be really helpful for that. So if you enjoyed it, leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Until next time, peace out.